to the value level three. Yesterday, Ruben, we can put that down. Yesterday we did level two. You guys did a very excellent job at level two. I'm hoping the same for level three. It's not terribly hard. Okay, it is hard. All right, I'm gonna split kind of my paper with the squiggly line down the middle. Because we're gonna compare the left side to the right side. It's gonna look very similar, Jerry, but there is some big differences. Did you write your squiggly line? No. Squiggly? Uh, ish. I'm gonna be, no, I mean if you need to. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Absolute value of negative five plus the absolute value of six. Now, this is what we did yesterday. Now, yesterday I taught you that when you have problems like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drop down each individual number. What is the absolute value of negative five? five. Beautiful. Six. Absolute value of six? six? Write it down. Why did I do that? It's 11. Yep. Positive 11. Beautiful. 11. Just 11. Okay, now let's see if you can notice the difference with level three. You can't see it. So what is the difference between the left side and the right side problems? Jerry? Yes. Okay, excuse me, Santiago. Anybody else have something to add? Sophia? Uh, they don't have the line like for single numbers. Uh-huh. I like that. They don't have the lines for single numbers. Marcos? The lines, they took away two lines. Just got together. Yeah, we took away two lines and put them together. Valeria, do you have anything else to add? No. All right. So, kind of like, Sophia, what you were saying, and Marcos to a degree, here you have individual bars. Individual bars, individual bars. Here you have them together. The problem is inside the bar. So you're going to have to do the math, do the math first. Yeah, so you hear, you see here on the right side that we wrote down, Hennessy, right? We drop down the numbers. We drop down the numbers. Here, we're going to do the math first. Oh, did everybody write the math first? The Do the math first. Did you write the number first like this? Did you write ST really small? I did the whole word. Yeah. Good. I like that. Even better. Jerry, did you, did you write this? Daisy, do you have the first right there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Brianna, we got all this written down? All right, cool. So let's do the math first. What's negative 5 plus 6? 11. No. Oh, negative, negative, negative 1. No, ne uh, 1. 1. Okay. This negative 5 plus 6 is equal to 1 inside the bars. So you do the math first. You ask yourself, like, okay, it's negative 5 plus 6. Okay, the signs are different, so I'm going to subtract. I have more positive, so my answer is 1. Did I take the absolute value? No, not yet. Now, what is the absolute value of 1? You get completely different answers. And you should get completely different answers. Because of the placement of the bars, you will end up with different answers because the math is completely different. Here you do this math first. Here you drop them down first. Completely different strategies. Yes, of course. All right, here we go. Absolute value of negative 9 plus the absolute value of 7. Make sure your bars are bigger than your numbers. All right. Santiago, let's not make comments. What's the absolute value of negative nine? nine. All right, drop it down, you get nine. Drop down the plus sign. What's the absolute value of seven? Seven. seven. 
Seven. Sixteen. All right. Now, all in the same bars, you will not get the same answer. Yes. Yes. Mm, final answer? Two. In the middle or final, final answer? Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Okay. This answer is correct. It is negative two, but it's in the bars. What do kids forget to do? They forget to, like, put back the bars, right? It's like, look, I didn't draw an arrow. I kind of did, like, a, like a, like a V. Kind of like, oh, we're just bringing all of this down. Once you have, here's my trick. Once you have a single number, one number inside the bars, that's when you can take it out and you're left with two. If you have two numbers, an operation, like fancy dancy stuff inside the bars, you can't take them out. You have to wait until you have just one number left over, even if it's a negative. Yeah, when you see the bars, that means the distance of that number to zero. Oh, what's the distance from zero to that number? Oh, it's two. All right, let's try some, let's try one more. Maybe two more, we'll see. Okay, try those two. Guess what? You're going to have two different answers. Try them out. Is that a five or X? We're not into variables yet, so it's five. Variables. Variables will be sh coming when you use letters. Are we going to do this? Uh, no, that's in high school. I have the answer. All right, you have both answers? Yeah. Do you have both answers and they are different? Okay, what's the first answer, guys? Second answer? Five. Very good. This gives you 10 plus this gives you 5, so that's 15. Here I get to do this math first, so I get negative 5 in the bars. The absolute value of negative 5 is five. Are we okay with those? Yeah. All right. You guys, when you get these on the homework, just go slower and realize these two will not have the same answer. They look the same. They have the same numbers involved, but those placement of the bars change everything. All right, try to do this one. 85 minus the absolute value of negative 61 plus 12. Huh? Write it down. Oh, I, know. I know. You should all know. On which column? Oh, it's now it's in the middle. Now it's. Oh. Write it down first. In the middle. Oh. Notice how my line ended, right there, and I no longer have a squiggly line. <laughs> so, there you go. So. What do I do first? I do what's in here first, right? Yeah. And then you go back to your old school rules from two weeks ago. And you go, okay, this is a negative and this is a positive. So what am I going to do? Subtract because the signs are different. Very good. So I'm going to go over here and go, okay, what's 61 minus 12? $61 minus $12. Now you go back and go, do you have more negatives or do you have more positives? Negative. So right now my answer is negative 49, but I have the bars because I didn't take them out. You cannot take out numbers when there's two numbers. You have to simplify it down to just and one number. And I'm guessing we have to add 85 No. What's the absolute value of negative 49? 49. Okay. 
Now I get to bring down this. Then I bring down this. So I have 85 minus 49. It's six. Santiago, just worry about yourself. 36. Honestly, today's classwork is going to be way easier than this. This is probably the hardest problem we'll do today. Yeah, for sure. No. Take those two answers and reverse them. Uh, this one's a little bit easier. It just looks harder because it's long. Yeah. Yeah, we're done comparing. We're done comparing. Okay. Copy it down, and I guarantee this one's easier than the one we just did. Correct. You go home tonight, you show mom, dad, grandmother, aunt, uncle, like, look what I can do. And they'll be like, oh my gosh, here's five bucks. And then you give me half. Oh no, I just recorded that. Okay. What's 13 minus 6? 7. 7. In the bars, take it out. What do you have? Seven, Seven. plus three. What is the absolute value of negative three? Uh, three? Thank you for writing this down. Minus, Minus. absolute value of negative ten is ten. ten. All right. Now we're gonna first add these two. 7 plus 3, 10, ten. 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 Zero. minus 10, it is 0. Whoops.